Well, I was able to pack a lot lighter, but man, this is still a lot of work. Happy camper. Woo, all that, uh, I can make you thirsty especially on a hot day like this. Well, you got a few options out here uh, to keep rehydrated. Uh, you can um, take your own water and try to carry it for the entire trip. Uh, that would be silly. You could uh, try to find a, a clean natural source, but I would prefer to filter it. So there's a lot of filters out there on the market. Uh, this one here I just chose because it's uh, lightweight. It's uh, it's what, uh, 200 grams, 209 grams or something. I'm not sure. You can go really lightweight and just bring uh, iodine tablets and use those. They just make the water taste gross and taste like iodine. You could boil your water if you wanted, uh, boil it to a uh, rolling boil. But the problem with that is a lot of people don't drink enough water when they boil water. They boil the water in the morning and then they run out of the water in the afternoon and they're not, they're not gonna stop and boil water again. So I think a, a filter is the best bet. So lightweight filter, this one here, the uh, Hyperflow Micro Filter by MSR, and it um, it uh, pumps water into your Nalgene at, what is it, um, uh, 20 pumps per liter. And I think you can probably in a minute get a couple liters of water. And uh, I think you've got, for the filter itself, I think you've got about a thousand liters before you have to think of uh, clean the filter. It's got a backflow system that cleans the filter as well. So about, I'd say about every 80 liters, I'd backflow it and clean it out. Uh, but yeah, it's a uh, pretty lightweight. I, I, I might, I don't mind it. And nice clean water on a really hot day, really hot buggy day. Happy camper. Grounds will be pushed to the bottom. You have to believe in this. So I've uh, I've, I've cut down on my. 